sample problems 20.02 and 20.03 from chapter 20. Suppose one mole of nitrogen gas is confined to the left side of the container as shown in the figure. You open the stop cock and the volume of the gas doubles. What is the entropy change of the gas for this irreversible process? Treat the gas as ideal. So here you have to see the figure. This figure has two container or compartment. In one compartment or one container, we completely fill with nitrogen gas. In the middle, we just lock with stop cock. When you just open the stop cock, this nitrogen gas from one container or one compartment to another compartment it will flow quickly right so when it's just move from one to another its volumes doubles as they mentioned in the question now we are going to find what is the entropy change so here first of all we have tried the given and in this question they gave the number of mole of nitrogen gas which is n so the value for n is one and they said the volume of the gas doubles so let's we take doubles means the initial volume is 1 cubic meter and doubles means what is the final volume? It takes the value of 2 cubic meter because the unit for the volume is cubic meter. And as we already studied the formula for the change in entropy, the change in entropy takes the formula number of moles multiplied by the gas constant and the natural log of b final over b initial so once you substitute this value here you will get the answer for change in entropy so the number of moles of nitrogen gas they mention here as one and the gas constant is a constant value which is 8.314 multiply the natural log of the final volume is two meter cube and the initial volume is one cubic meter so here, when you multiply these, we will get the answer as 5.76 and the unit is joules per Kelvin. So this is the answer for the sample problem 20.02. Now we have to move to the second sample problem 20.03. So here, this question is related with the Carnot engine. So what is given in the question? Imagine a Carnot engine that operates between the temperature TH, which is equal to 80 Kelvin, and TL, which is equal to 300 Kelvin. The engine performs 1200 joules of work each cycle, which takes 0.25 seconds. We are going to find what is the efficiency of this engine in the first part so we have the initial we have the the temperature for the hot reservoir th which is equal to 850 kelvin and the temperature for the cold reservoir tl is given as 300 kelvin and the work information is given as 1200 joules and the time is given as 0. 25 second actually we have four questions in this sample problem so for each question sometimes if you need this information we can use this data so in the first part we are going to find the efficiency of the engine so efficiency is indicated with the symbol epsilon or eta so what we study the formula for the efficiency is work over th or you can write this work is th minus tl over th if you want to furthermore solve this equation we can write th over th minus tl over th by that this efficiency equation will change as eta which is equal to 1 minus tl over th 
So now I'm going to substitute the value. 1 minus the TL value is 300 Kelvin. So 300 and the TH value is 850. And here I got the answer as 0 0.647. If you want to write the values in terms of percentage, we have to multiply with 100. By that, the efficiency of the engine is 64.7 percentage. So this is the answer. This is the point. So 64.7 is the answer for the first question. And in the second question, we are going to find what is the average power. As we already studied the equation for calculating the average power, power which is equal to work divided by time and the work information is already given in the question as 1200 divided by the time is 0 0.25 so when you solve this we will get the answer for the power p which is equal to 4800 watt so this is the answer for the second question we have two more questions in the third part we are going to find how much energy QH is extracted as heat from the high temperature reservoir every cycle. So we already have this equation as we already know the efficiency of the engine which is equal to work over TH but we can modify this equation in terms of energy in the hot reservoir as W over QH. So I'm going to use eta, which is equal to W over QH for this question. I'm going to rearrange this equation in terms of QH. Therefore, QH, which is equal to work divided by efficiency. And the work information is already given in the question as 1200 divided by the efficiency value. Actually, we already got the answer in the first part as 0 0.647. So 1200 divided by 0 0.647, we got the answer as 1854.7 and the unit for the energy is joules. So this is the answer for the third question. And in the fourth part, we are going to find how much energy QL is delivered as a heat to the low temperature reservoir every cycle. So by using the energy from the hot reservoir, we can easily find the answer for the QL. As we already studied, work which is equal to TH minus TL. Likewise, we can use the equation for the energy also, QH minus QL. So now I'm going to use this equation for getting the answer for the fourth question, part D. So I'm going to rearrange this equation in terms of QL. So I'm going to move this QL to the left hand side. I'm going to bring this work done to the right hand side by that. The QL will take the positive sign, QL which is equal to, but the work will take the negative sign. So QH minus work done. What is QH? I have to take the answer from the part C. 1854.7 minus and the work done value is given in the question as 1200. So when you subtract this 1854.7 with 1200, you will get the answer as 654.7. If you want to round it, this number, the QL which is equal to 655 joules. So this is the answer for the last question. That's it. Thank you.